Hello everyone. My school recently hosted a filmmaking competition, so I decided to create this short film that I used as an entry. It may have a bit of a different feel compared to the rest of my videos, but I thought you all would find it interesting regardless. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Sunlight, probably something that's hitting you right now and is responsible for over 99% of the Earth's total energy and its ecosystems. Where does it come from? Well, obviously the sun. Most people know that it is an approximately 8 minute journey at light speed to travel the 91 million miles between the Earth and the sun. So far away that it can't accurately show the sizes and scales of the two with HD resolution. But what most people forget about is the seemingly insignificant part where light needs to get from the core to the surface of the sun. Normally, atoms consist of protons, which will be indicated in red, and neutrons, which will be indicated with gray, at the center or nucleus of an atom, with electrons orbiting around the nucleus. The number of each particle varies by isotope and element of the atom. The sun is primarily made up of various hydrogen and helium isotopes, but not like this. Under the extreme heat and pressure of the entire star's gravity, the atoms dissolve into a soup of electrons, protons, and various nuclei. This is the fourth state of matter called plasma. The lone nuclei whiz around the sun's core at tremendous speeds due to the extreme heat and pressure. Their positive charges result in them repelling each other through the electromagnetic force, just like a magnet, though occasionally the particles are moving so fast that they get close enough together for the strong nuclear force to take over and force the two nuclei to form a single new one. In this nuclear reaction, a hydrogen-1 nucleus, or a proton, and a hydrogen-2 nucleus formed a helium-3 nucleus and a lot of energy, due to the helium-3 nucleus being in a more stable, low-energy state. Some of that energy is converted into a bundle of electromagnetic radiation produced called a photon. It's a type of light carrier of gamma radiation which is hundreds of thousands of times more powerful than the light we have on Earth. Photons move at light speed, so theoretically you would expect it to move from the center of the sun to the outside of it in about two seconds. However, there's a whole lot of sun in the way starting with the radiation zone. The high energy photon starts its journey, only to almost immediately get absorbed by a nucleus which will repel it in a random direction. This gets repeated over and over, and the quick two second dash that light would normally take gets halted into a chaotic crawl lasting hundreds of thousands of years. The photon loses energy every time it gets rebounded, meaning that after the billions of rebounds it has to endure to get out of the radiation zone, it turns into the light we have on Earth, or visible light. The photon has now entered the convection zone. In here, the sun's fluids form massive loops, which conveniently cause the particles at the inside where a photon is now entering to rise to the surface. This happens because photons get absorbed by particles and this time stick with them, heating them up and causing them to rise. This is way faster than the photon's random motion. Don't be fooled though, these particles, even with the help of the sun's convections, still move at less than 1% of the speed of light, and it still takes a few months to escape the convection zone and be expelled into open space. Okay folks, so our photon just got expelled into space towards the Earth. Bad news is, it took like half a million years to get here, and we covered less than half a percent of the distance between the sun's core and the Earth's surface. But the good news is, now the photon no longer has any obstructions to get to Earth, and it can travel at its maximum speed, or light speed. This speed is so fast, that it will only take 8 minutes to make the 91 million mile journey to Earth. 
The sunlight you see was created by an ancient nuclear fusion reaction that predates the human species, only to get rebounded billions of times throughout the radiation zone and then be carried up through the convection zone, and finally had to endure a dash through the vacuum of space traversing millions of miles all to let you see the world and the cosmos beyond it. If you like this film, you may also enjoy some of my other astronomy videos as well. If you have any questions, the comment section is all yours. And don't forget to like and subscribe too. See ya!